What's going on everybody, DJ Valentine here right about now, 7 o'clock in the morning, hurricane force winds in London right now, it's kind of peak, and I woke up to Capcom dropping a bunch of news, so I just want to talk about it really quickly because it's quite important. Um, so firstly, first big thing, um, Capcom announced a fighting games collection, I've been asking for Capcom to release a fighting games collection for a long time. Capcom has a very rich history of fighting games that are just sitting dormant someplace in someone's cupboard and they're just collecting dust and nothing's happening with them and I'm like, man, why don't they just put them all together in a collection and just release them? And they've done that, they're doing that literally right now in like summertime we're going to have a fighting games collection from Capcom it's going to contain like a bunch of Darkstalkers games, it's going to contain Cyberbots for Christ's sakes, Red Earth is on there, Red Bloody earth is on them and what the hell um we've also got like like puzzle fighter and gem fighter and then them ones are there and i'm like yes good this is a good collection and it's gonna have rollback netcode for all of these games apparently all these games are gonna have rollback netcode hopefully it's a solid rollback netcode hopefully it's a good it's a good quality rollback netcode and everyone can play online and everyone can have fun with that shit it's gonna be great there's gonna be like art galleries on there. there's gonna be like a complete celebration of these games but i'm hyped about this i'm hyped about this because this is a good collection it is missing out some stuff it's missing out things like Power Stone and it's missing out things like Rival Schools. But personally, hopefully, if this collection does well, this first collection, I can possibly see Capcom making like Capcom Fighting Games Collection 2 that contains all the Rival Schools and all the Power Stone games. And maybe Capcom Fighting Game Collection 3 that might have Capcom vs SNK on there and like the Marvel vs Capcom series and all that stuff. When this fighting games collection drops, people show their support for it. If it does well, do you honestly think Capcom are not going to make collections out of their other fighting games? They know people want them. They know people are asking, hey, we want Rival Schools. Hey, we want Power Stone. Hey, we want Capcom vs SNK and we want Marvel vs Capcom. We want all these ones. Okay, do you honestly think they're not hearing us about that? They are, but they got to see that it's going to sell. So this Capcom fighting games collection to me is a safe bet. It's a safe release. Put this one out, and if it does well enough, of course they're going to invest in collecting all their other fighting games into other collections. So absolutely, without a doubt, when this Capcom Fighting Games Collection Volume 1, let's call it Volume 1, when Capcom Fighting Game Collection Volume 1 releases, cop that shit, show Capcom you care, show Capcom what you want in the future, Power Stone, Rival Schools, show them, ask for it, and hopefully, with a bit of luck, they'll do it. And another thing as well, like people are sort of like, oh, uh, they're making another Darkstalkers collection in this series. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's been, what, 10 years since Darkstalkers Resurrection came out? Here's your chance. It's been like over 10 years. It's your chance to show Capcom again. Hey, look, we want Darkstalkers. Buy this collection. Hopefully, hopefully if it does well, it might eventually lead in the future to a new Darkstalkers game of some variety. You, if you don't buy this collection, then it's just going to prove Capcom like, oh, well, they didn't buy it, so why are we going to invest money in a brand new game? No, you have to buy it. You have to show your support for this. If you care that much, yes, buy a brand new collection containing these games. Once again, it's going to have rollback net code. I'm really hoping it's a good solid rollback net code and everyone has fun playing it and they will have a good time playing it and it's going to do really, really well. I hope so. I hope so. Because fighting games collection, Capcom fighting games collection, hopefully it will become a series. I hope so. That's what it looks like to me anyway. So maybe they're testing the waters with... It's got Red Earth on it, man, for Christ's sake, yeah? Okay, they're pulling out the deep cuts on this one. Okay, Cyberbots is on there. You can't tell me you're not going to cop this. Get this collection when it comes out. Support the collection. Hopefully it will lead to more collections in the future. Then everyone will get their rival schools and their power stones and we will all be happy. And then maybe in the future it might even lead to brand new games in those series. So I'm hyped for the Capcom fighting games collection. Super Super hyped about that. Now let's talk about Street Fighter 6 because boy, that was uh, that was an announcement for an announcement, bro. That's like I knew they were gonna do this. I don't I don't feel like they were ready to announce full on like they, they weren't they weren't gonna come out swinging with like gameplay footage. They weren't, I don't think they're ready for that. I think the trouble development has pushed the game back a lot more than they wanted to. I think if they were on target, I think we would have had like a gameplay reveal trailer here. But because there was so much trouble in development, you know, they had to they had to play for time. So okay, Capcom Cup is ending. What are we got what do we have to show for it? Let's just show let's just show a, a teaser trailer. So I was expecting that. And it's not even a bad thing, okay? It's not even a bad thing. It's getting people intrigued. It's giving us insight into what Street Fighter 6 might be like. And they said, oh, we're going to have more announcements in the summertime. So it's not even that far away. I think by the summertime, we're going to see what this game looks like, like actual gameplay. It looks like they're using the Resident Evil engine, the RE engine for this. And that's cool, okay? I think after Street Fighter 4 and after the jankiness of some character models in Street Fighter 5, I'm welcoming 
the realistic approach. I'm not sold on it yet. I'll, I'll, I'll get that clear right now. I'm not sold on Street Fighter 6 being a hyper realistic looking fighting game, but I'm welcoming the new direction because I want to see how it's going to go. Okay, Street Fighter 4 was okay to some degree. I had some gripes here and there with some characters, how they looked, how the art style looked. It wasn't my kind of thing. Street Fighter 5 came out. Okay, I was kind of hyped in the early days. And then some of the other characters started coming out. It started looking a bit jank. And I was like, oof, ooh, I'm not sure about this one. And I mean, then they're, they're never going to go back to pixel art. So as much as I love the Street Fighter 3 series and how that looked, we're never going to go back there. They're never going to do it. OK, and I have, I've accepted that a long time ago. So I'm like, I'm not I'm not even going to get the style that I want to see. So what am I going to in the position that I'm in? I'm not going to get the style of Street Fighter that I want to see. So what's the next best thing? See what else they're going to bring and try and keep an open mind about it. So Street Fighter 6, they're saying, look, we're going to be using the RE engine for this shit. We're going to go the hyper realistic route. We're going to make this game look like Tekken 7 kind of thing. OK, OK, it's a pro it's an approach that we haven't really done with Street Fighter, not properly. So in that case, I'm welcoming it. In that case, I'm going to be like, OK, intrigue me, elaborate, show me what you've got. Don't just show me a shirtless Ryu and Luke motherfucker. Don't just show me that. Show me characters like Elena. Yeah, show me Sean. Show me Dudley, show me Makoto, show me Poison, show me Fei Long, show me these characters, bring somebody. And how are these other characters going to look? You know, the weird ones. If Blanca ends up in this, how is he going to look in hyper-realistic? Yeah. If you've got characters like Oro and Necro, how are they going to look in hyper-realistic style in the RE engine? That's what that's what's that's what's concerning me now. OK, Ryu and Luke, yeah, they look fine. You know, they're, they're standard. That's standard. I want to see how some of the other characters are going to look. Some of the really heavily stylized characters. How is this engine going to hold them up? How is that going to portray those characters? Now that I know 100% that they're going for the realistic approach, I'm cautiously entertaining what they're giving us. I'm cautiously observing. Just the fact that this is a style that they haven't done before, it's now making me think, wow, what are my favorite characters going to look like in this engine? Yeah, I want to see how they're going to look in this engine, if they're going to be playable at all. You get me? So now, because because we're dealing with a new engine, because we're dealing with a version of Street Fighter that we've never seen before, a graphic style that we've never seen for Street Fighter before, it's got my brain going, well, I wonder what that character's going to look like. How is that, How cool is that character going to look? Or how is that character going to look in this stuff? It's making me, it's giving me questions to think about. And secondly, that roster, starting day roster, you can't do what you did with Street Fighter 5. You're going to need more characters than that now. We've come a long way. It's a big deal. So I'm kind of hoping Street Fighter 6, even if they're using a new engine, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we're going to have a decent bloody sized roster on launch day. But again, we'll see. I'm just hoping this game looks good. I'm hoping this game plays good. I'm hoping this game does the right moves this time. I don't want Street Fighter to suffer. Street Fighter 5 was topsy-turvy. It, it got better as time went on, but I got burnt out in those first few seasons and I was just like, why am I even playing this game? And I got to a point where I just stopped because of it. I don't want to be like that with Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6, I wanted to come out and I just wanted to hit straight away out the gates. No stumbling, no if and not erring. They just come out with a direction. They know what they're doing and they're like, right, this is what it is. So I can know straight from the bat if I'm going to be like invested or not. I don't want to be sort of on a topsy-turvy roller coaster with Street Fighter 6. So... Personally, based on the announcement, I'm super intrigued about the graphic direction. I'm super intrigued about what some of these characters are going to look like in the RE engine, if that's what they're using. And I'm super, super intrigued how this game is going to play now, how it's going to look and how it's going to play within this engine. I'm intrigued right now. I'm really intrigued because this is a new era for Street Fighter and it's a new direction. I think they're taking with this graphic thing. It's something it's somewhere we've never been before. The jump from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5 was similar because they were sort of going a similar graphical style. They were sort of going in a similar direction art style wise. But this is something new. This is like realistic. And we've not seen that for Street Fighter before. Unless you count Street Fighter the movie. But we're not counting that one. This is something else. So I'm intrigued. It could go tits up or it could go really well. I'm intrigued. I want to see how it goes. Those are just my initial thoughts. We'll see what happens in the summertime. Those are my initial thoughts. Before I sign off though. Yeah, I do have a major complaint about one, bi one big thing about the announcement. That logo is trash, bruv. <laughs> That logo is gutter trash, man. If Dudley were here, he would box that thing up. Trust me. That logo is so basic. That logo is like, look, man, yo, NFT esports. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's not. Uh, nah, I'm not feeling that one, bro. Like, I, I'm not even a graphic designer and I could do that. And that's 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 worrying. That's concerning. So um, art department, graphic department at Capcom, you lot there, 
Um, do something about that logo, please. Please do something about that logo. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, major oof coming from this side of the world. Major oof. Um, yeah, but I'm hyped. Capcom Collection, big news, I think. I was not expecting that, and I'm glad. And that could mean better things for the future, more Capcom Collections, or m maybe revitalizing old series in the future. That'll be good. And Street Fighter VI, I'm intrigued, man. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. And I'm hoping for the best. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let me know your thoughts about all this news, man. It's pretty big news all to wake up to on a, a, a Monday morning. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments about this stuff. Let me know what you're thinking, what you're feeling about Street Fighter 6 and the uh, fighting games collection. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'm Diddy Valentine. Take care. Look after yourselves. And thanks for watching.